bases. We've talked a lot about acids, but we really haven't spent a lot of time talking about bases. Bases, of course, are substances that produce the OH negative ion, or the hydroxide ion, according to Arrhenius, or they are proton acceptors. Sometimes in those conjugate acid pair um, equations, we will label something as an acting like an acid or acting like a base. Remember, the base is something that takes in the hydrogen, usually from water. In a, ba a base, of course, is something whose pH is greater than 7 because it doesn't have much hydrogen ions. And ionic compounds containing OH negative are generally considered strong bases. For example, LiOH, NaOH, KOH, and CaOH2. So you can add that to your list of strong bases. We had a list of strong acids. This is a list of strong bases. And remember, the POH is the negative log of the OH ion concentration. Earlier we talked about how pH, POH, hydrogen ion, and hydroxide ion are related. And of course pH um, would be 14 minus the POH. So let's say we wanted to calculate the pH of a 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. What would that be? Well, you know, if you just took negative log of that number, you're going to get 3. But sodium hydroxide is NaOH, and NaOH, let me grab the pen, NaOH produces Na ions and OH negative ions. Uh, and therefore, we really don't have very much hydrogen ions, so we need to use the Kw to help us. So if we take the negative log of this, actually what we are getting is the pOH. And you can subtract it from 14, and in this case, you can see that the pH is 11. Here's another one. Calculate the pH of 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar solution of calcium hydroxide. And you might say, well, same exact number, pH, um, uh, pOH of this would be 3, and it would also be 11, but it isn't. If we check, you can see it's 11.30. Where's that 0.3 coming from? Well, calcium hydroxide, you can see, produces calcium ions and two hydroxide ions. So therefore, the, the concentration of OH is two times that. And therefore, when you do um, the negative log of 2 times 10 to the negative 3, and then you subtract it from 14, you get 11.30. Equilibrium expressions for weak bases using Kb. So here's an example of a weak base. This is a weak base. You can see it's acting like a base because it's taking hydrogen from water and producing HCN, which is an acid, and OH negative. Again, just like a Ka problem, products over reactants, and there it is there. We call this relationship, however, Kb. pH calculations for solutions of weak bases are similar to those of acids. Of course, Kw helps us go between acids and bases, and pOH and pH again. This, we, we seem to be very repetitive here, but hopefully we'll move on to something more exciting. Calculate the pH of a 2 molar solution of ammonia. Now here's a, and the Kb is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Here's a perfect example of having to write a reaction using water. We have ammonia, and we have water, and the NH4 plus is going to be produced, and OH negative. So we can do products over reactants, and that has to equal 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, which is fine. But you notice they give you the initial concentration of 2.0 molar. We don't have any um, concentration of products there. And um, we don't know the change. 
So the equilibrium concentration is 2 minus x, and the products are just x. When we work it out, we're going to get x squared over 2 minus x equals, in this case, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. When I solve for x, I got 0 0.006 molar. And it looks like I should have had another significant figure, but I didn't write it down, so I apologize. 0 0.006 molar. Um, that is the concentration you can see of OH negative. So if I take negative log of 0 0.006, I'm actually getting the pOH, which is 2.22. And then I can get the pH, which is 11.78.